Hey guys, time for my Ring of Honor review, episode 99. I will mention why I said it's episode 99. Uh, the episode aired August 10th, 2013. Let's get right to it. Uh, after the intro, we go to a couple of weeks ago on the show where Michael Bennett is in the ring confronting, of all people, Cheeseburger. So he's like, here, you take the Ring of Honor contract, you become a big star. And he attacks Cheeseburger, to which uh, Brutal Bob Evans does not like. He, you know, goes after, or he breaks it up, and then Bennett attacks him, which leads to the first match, Michael Bennett against Brutal Bob Evans. Um, it starts where Evans was about to confront Maria Canellis when Bennett gives him a super kick. And the first three to five minutes, they're on the floor. Uh, doing a lot of stuff on the floor, um, you know, sending each other to the barricade, giving each other, you know, drop kicks and other moves. And Maria Canales joins them, or joins Nigel McGuinness and Kevin Kelly on commentary. So once we get back into the ring, the action is okay. Um, you know, the the confrontate, you know, the two men keep fighting, and. Brutal Bob Evans actually gets an advantage in this match. And this is how, you know, it ends. Bennett is down on the mat. Evans goes to the top rope. He attempts a leg drop from the top rope, misses. And then Michael Bennett picks him up, hits him with the box office smash, and then gives him sort of a modified F5 to get the three count in the victory. So Michael Bennett beats his trainer. After the match, here comes Cheeseburger to the rescue. Yes, Cheeseburger makes a valiant attempt to get revenge, but fails miserably. Bennett gives him a pile driver in the ring. And then Maria gives Michael Bennett his Ring of Honor contract, gives him a pen. He signs. Michael Bennett is now long-term with Ring of Honor. Nigel McGuinness, after that, he and Bennett were having some choice words. So now we go to the Women of Honor. We have a women's match next. Bonesaw Brooke makes her Ring of Honor TV debut. She goes up against Mischief. Now, during this match, Maria Kanellis is doing commentary. Nigel McGuinness is in the back somewhere. But that's, you know, that part doesn't really matter that Nigel's not there. So it's Bonesaw Brooke and Mischief. This is all Mischief in this match. She gets her offense in. But Bonesaw Brooke, she gets a couple of good moves in. She gets a Northern Light suplex in, gets a German suplex in, you know, and she's trying to get advantage, and she does okay, but Mischief comes back. And the end of the match, she has Bonesaw Brooke set up. Like, you know, like how Goldust used to set up people for Shattered Dreams? Well, Mischief has her set up for, you know, in that position. So Mischief climbs the second rope puts Brooke in between her legs and hits a modified pedigree from the second rope, no arms hook. She just stands there and sort of jumps and just drives her down head first into the mat. That looked brutal as hell. One, two, three, Mischief got the win in that match. Now we go into Inside Ring of Honor where they talk about um, the, the Ring of Honor title tournament and how Silas Young got the last spot, and Silas Young says that he's in a field of boys, and he's a man, and he's going to be the Ring of Honor world champion. Then, he, then Kevin Kelly talks about how two men, conspicuous by their absence in the tournament, are the American Wolves, Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards, which goes to the clip from the previous episode, where both men said that they are focused on getting back the Ring of Honor tag team titles, and then they talk about what happened on the last episode with Forever Hooligans winning the tag team titles. And then Kevin Kelly mentions that the next episode is episode 100 of Ring of Honor. So Jay Lethal and Roderick Strong talk about that. And basically that episode is going to be sort of a best of from what I can tell. Um, so I haven't decided yet if I'm going to review that episode or not. If I don't, please don't get mad at me. 
I just don't know if I want to review a best of episode as the 100th episode. And they remind us that in two weeks, which would be the August 24th episode, the Ring of Honor title tournament begins. So now we go to the main event. You could say this is sort of an all-star match. A six-man tag team match. Tommaso Ciampa, Michael Elgin, and Kevin Steen against B.J. Whitmer and the American Wolves. Think about it. You have three former Ring of Honor World Champions in this match. You have four men that are going to compete in the Ring of Honor title tournament. And boy, was this a fun match to watch. This was fun. Um, it, 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 you could tell that the, that the guys were having fun. You can tell that, you know, this was just going to be a fun match. Let's just, you know, go out there. So, um, you know, it starts off with Ciampa and Whitmer. And then, you know, after a moment they tag and it goes to Steen and Edwards. And then after they have a moment, Elgin and Richards, you know, they compete. And this gets a, you know, this is a long match. So I'm not going to review all parts, but there were a couple of fun parts in this. One of them, when they return from the first commercial break of this match, Michael Elgin's got Davey Richards in a suplex. And I mean, he's got him up there for a long time. It must have been over 50 seconds. And then he finally drops. And then Ciampa and Whitmer come in. Ciampa gets Whitmer. He's got him up in a suplex, and he's got him up there a long time and drops him. So Steen and Edwards come in. Steen looks like he's going to do the suplex, excuse me, on Edwards when Edwards reverses and gives him a brief suplex. And that was a fun little spot. And then, you know, we get back to, you know, action. And, you know, it's a good back and forth match. In the end of the match, it comes down to basically Elgin and Richards. Um, what happens is Elgin picks up Edwards, power bombs Edwards over the top rope onto everybody else in the ring. So Elgin and Richards are, you know, in the ring and they're beating each other up, and it's good stuff, good action, and the end of the match, you know, Richards reverses Elgin for what's going to be a tombstone, and Edwards comes in, kicks Elgin in the head, then Richards drops him for a tombstone, gets a two count, and Richards tries to beat Elgin with the ankle lock, can't do that, and then Elgin hits um, Richards in the end with the buckle bomb and then the Elgin bomb, gets a three count in the victory, wins the six-man tag match. Good six-man. It's a fun match to watch. I'm, I'm not going to say it's match of the year, but it's a fun six-man match to watch. Uh, this is a fun episode. This, uh, You know what? This was a fun episode to watch. And, you know, just really good way to set up the tournament. Now, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to review the next episode, episode 100, because it sounds like it's a best of, so I'll think about that. But remember, the August 24th episode starts the Ring of Honor title tournament.